Okay, in this video we're actually going to calculate the residuals uh, in order to make a residual plot. Now the residuals in a residual plot actually tells us if the linear model was appropriate for our data set. Now to do this you need your equation of the line. So from previous videos we've actually already found the equation of the line for this data. I've got my gradient here and my y-intercept here. So the actual residual well, the residual is the actual value that you found minus the predicted value. And the predicted value comes from the equation of the line. So we're going to find out predicted, predicted values here. So we're going to start here. It's equal to the gradient, which is this one. Now we're going to press F4 to lock that in because we want everything to be multiplied by the gradient. We're going to multiply that by our X value. And we're going to add on our y-intercept. Again, we want to press F4 to put the dollar signs in to ensure that this is a locked value. So our predicted value for an income of 83,000 is 7.9. Now you can see the actual value is 8.8. .8, so our residual is equal to the actual minus the predicted. Now we're just going to highlight these two and drag these down so that we can do this same thing for every value. Now at this point you would actually construct the graph. So we want the actual income and holding control down and coming over here you can highlight a separate column. And we want to plot this as a scatter plot. Okay. And from this you can see that it is indeed very random. There is no pattern here so the linear model even though our R value is incredibly low is appropriate for this data. Thanks for watching.